Hey, this is Brett, and today I am super excited to go over this brand new 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. This is a 24R package. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. This 2023 Gladiator is stock number 23J568, and this one has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It's gonna give you 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. It's also gonna give you 22 miles per gallon highway, 17 city for an average of 19 miles per gallon. Pumpkin orange metallic is the color. I'm gonna go through this entire vehicle. If you're not familiar with the channel or my walk-arounds, I'm gonna give you the most in-depth walk-around that I can of this particular Gladiator, show you all the options. We're gonna go over the original window sticker. Also gonna turn all of the lights on at the end of this video so you can see just how bright these LED lights are, which is an option on this particular Gladiator. So let's get right into it. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Starting off, this one has the satin finish black grille. You also notice that it has the LED headlamps, LED running lights, LED running lights in the fenders, as well as the LED fog lamps. And as promised, I'm gonna turn on all those lights at the end of the video. You get the red tow hooks with the Rubicon package. Pumpkin orange is definitely my favorite color on the Gladiators and Wranglers. If I get a, another Wrangler it is gonna be this color or very similar. So they say it's metallic. It's very hard to see. You can see, just make out that it's got a little bit of metal flake to it. Uh, so it is a metallic, but it's a very, fine metallic on there. You get the Rubicon lettering on the hood. Now those are just decals, so you could take those off if you don't like it. You also get the sport style hood with the heat extraction inserts there. This one has the color match fenders. It also has the black hard top. This thing actually looks just like my old Wrangler and uh, maybe why I like it so much has the painted and polished aluminum 17 inch wheels. It also has Falcon Wild Peak AT tires. These are AT3Ws. These are LT285 70 R17s and definitely have an all terrain tread pattern to them. The Rubicon is gonna give you a higher ride height than any of the other Gladiator packages. And it also has a Jeep climbing up the side of the windshield there. 2023, it still has the antenna here we're anticipating the 2024s are going to have the antenna in the windshields just like the wranglers you do get these door hinges that say t50 on them you can take these doors off with a torx 50 wrench I actually did a demo on how to take your doors off of your gladiator vehicle that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below you get the jeep lettering in granite crystal with the red outline there and the gladiator decal there as well the Rubicon package comes with these rock rails so that you don't damage your vehicle when you're doing intense off-roading. And like I said, it comes with the black hardtop. It's actually a black, flat black paint. It's called PXF is the paint code. And the color for pumpkin is PE4. Here's the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go through everything, but just some of the main points. 2023 Gladiator Rubicon 4x4. Pumpkin metallic clear coat is the paint color, black interior, Rubicon cloth, bucket seats, 3.6 liter V6, 24 valve VVT engine with start stop, eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment. So the Jeep Wave, the four to one rock track, part-time four wheel drive system, heavy duty Dana 45, or I'm sorry, 44 wide front and rear axles is all standard. The 410 axle ratio, the 33 inch tires, um, cabin bed steel rock rails, fuel tank skid plate, transfer skid plate, front bumper skid plate, all that stuff, standard equipment. Interior features, all that is standard, um, including the 4C radio with nav. And then the optional equipment starts with the pumpkin metallic clear coat exterior. That's $8.95. That's the most I've seen for a charge on paint on any of the Jeep products. Um, normally it's $5.95, but $8.95 on this particular Wrangler, I wonder if it's a, or a Gladiator, I wonder if it's a limited color run or something. Color 
or I'm sorry, cold weather group is $15.95. Gives you remote start, heated seats, and steering wheel. The premium LED lighting group is $18.95. That is worth it. That is definitely $18.95. If you got to spend it, spend it because these LED lights are super bright and so much better than the normal halogen lights. That's, that's a deal right there. Eight speed automatic transmission is $2,500. The four to one rock truck. Rock Track full time four wheel drive system is $895. The Black Freedom Top three piece hard top is $2,095. The Cold Air Intake System by Mopar is $525. Satin Black Grill is $195. And the Body Color Fenders are $995. This one does have the wireless speaker. I'll show you that in just a second. That's $595. The 17 by 7.5 inch machine painted wheels are a $1,395 option. And this one does have the Spray and Bed Liner by Mopar, which is $525. That is a deal as well, because just wait till you see this bed liner. It's really nice. 67875 is total MSRP on this Gladiator. To get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep in the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website, also in the description below. 3-year 36 bumper-to-bumper, 5-year 60 powertrain, 22 highway, 17 city for an average of 19. Greenhouse and small grains are 4 and 7 respectively. And the safety ratings, it has a four star and five star for front crash and three star for rollover. It's not overall vehicle isn't rated because it's not rated for the side ratings there. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at that wireless speaker back here. So they put them behind this back seat and it's right here. Pull that strap to release that. So this is a Bluetooth speaker that you can basically put anywhere in the bed of the truck, next to the vehicle, anywhere you want it. It's portable, uh, volume, power, and play button on there. And then when it sits back here, it actually charges. Um, so I think I have it upside down. No, that was right. Anyways, it sits back here. You gotta get it right in the slot. Otherwise, it will not sit properly. There we go. So then it snaps into place and that locks into place. If you look back here, you got a bunch of bolts to take this hard top off. We actually did a demo on how to take your hard top off of your Gladiator. If you want to check that out, that is in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. It has a manual sliding rear window. These headrests fold down for better visibility if nobody's back here. And you get the latch tether anchors on the back seats as well for any child car seats you may have. These seats also fold up. Here's your case for the front hard top pieces. You get a storage bin back here as well. And on the other side is your holder for all the bolts for the doors and the roof. You also get child safety locks on the back doors here. Color match fenders on the back. You also get a 3M rock guard on the front of the fenders. That's a very nice thing, especially with these uh, beefy tires, tend to throw rocks up, keep your fenders from getting all rock chipped. Four wheel disc brakes on the Gladiator. You also get these rock rails on the rear part of the bed and bumper. Red tow hooks back here. It does have receiver hitch for, or I'm sorry, it does have wiring, four pin and seven pin wiring. There is no receiver hitch um, but you could put one on there and it's already set up for the wiring, so that's pretty nice. And if you don't need to tow anything with this, then you're all set already. LED tail lamps, they are super bright as well, so when I turn all those lights on, we'll do a final walk around here. Has a shock down assist tailgate, so it's never gonna slam on you. And check out this bed liner. This thing is super nice. Looks really good, exactly how you want a bed liner to look. You do get LED bed lights back here and uh, 419, I think that's the area code for the phone number for where these are built. If you know, let me know in the description below, but I think that's what that is. Anyways, that spray and bed liner goes onto the tailgate, which is a very nice feature. This tailgate is super light, very easy. You can see I kind of can throw it up. So very easy to lift, which is a nice feature as well. Really a good looking Jeep. And I am a little biased since I had one that looked just like this, a Wrangler. Heated mirrors, enter and go system. Just have the, have the key fob in your pocket. Put your hand in there, it'll automatically unlock. Inside the Rubicon package gives you the black cloth interior. 
you get the red stitching on these seats. You also get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest and you get this honeycomb design on the back and lower part of the seat, which looks pretty good. Driver's seat height adjuster, lumbar. And these do have side airbags on the side of the seats there. You get the factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power locks, power mirrors. Hop inside, check out the information center controls and the radio. You get the seven inch LCD display, the Rubicon animation at the beginning, digital speedometer, compass display. You can change all these corners to read whatever you want. Instrument cluster looks really good. You also get the leather wrapped steering wheel. You get the red stitching on that steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left and audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one does have the Uconnect 4C radio. It does have the factory navigation system on here. There's Rogerville's, Rogerville's, Rogersville Road, which is what we're on. So that is working nicely. And you get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You get your heated seats, heated steering wheel, and backup camera right here. Let's check out that backup camera. So they've made these HD crystal clear. So if you did have a hitch on here, you could get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time. Love that they made those cameras HD. Uh, you get all your different apps on here as well. Off-road pages, projection manager. We can project a cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. We did a demo on an 844C with Android Auto. If you'd like to check that out, see how that system works, that's in the upper right-hand part of the screen as well. We'll go to the off-road pages. They do take a second to load, so while they're loading, we'll go down here to the more tactile volume tune and climate controls. You may be lost, but never stuck in a gladiator. And then uh, here are your off-road pages. So you get the information over here, if the sway bar is connected or disconnected, front axle if it's locked or unlocked, same as the rear axle, which you can do in a Rubicon and only a Rubicon. You get your steering angle there. So as I turn that steering wheel, you can see that that angle changes and that those wheels actually change on the display up there. So that's really cool as well. You get your transfer case, whether it's too high, four high or four low. Get all your different accessory gauges on here as well as pitch and roll. And then you get latitude, longitude, and your altitude there. All right. So that's all the apps that come with the vehicle. Down here, like I said, more tactile climate volume and tune controls, heated seats, heated steering wheel controls, start stop capabilities, stability control, speed select crawl control. You can turn that screen off. You get an AUGS USB and USB C. Power windows, off road plus mode, and sway bar disconnect front and rear locking axles or just the rear. This is what makes the sway bar and the locking axles is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. Um, if it didn't have this, there'd be no point to the Rubicon package. Four by four shifter on the floor, eight speed automatic transmission. You get a nice Gladiator logo on the top of that shifter and the red release button right there. The keyless entry with the remote start. This is a very nice flipper key. Always like these key fobs since they came out. Remote start on there and uh, they sit nicely in the in between the cup holders right there which is kind of a Jeep thing. All the key fobs seem to fit somewhere in the cup holders. Now this one has the red dash. Uh, let me know what you think of the red dash in the comments. Some people like it, some people do not like it. I don't really have an opinion because um, that's pretty much how they all come. You get the map lights up there, those are LED lights and you get the quick disconnects on those front Hard top pieces, SOS and assist buttons, auto dimming mirror, and a home link system for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. All right, let's start it up, turn on all those lights as promised, and I will do a final walk around. Actually, I'm not going to start it up because we're going to do, we're going to turn off all the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how bright they are because it is pretty impressive when those are on. I'll show you under the hood though, so you can see that cold air intake. No sense to gas myself out in here. These are pretty easy to get open. And then we'll check out those LED lights. Here's a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. There is your cold air intake, so you can see it's up a little bit higher. And you get this air box right here, performance parts and that goes right to the engine. There's the emission sticker. So, 
close that up so you can see all those LED lights are very bright and they illuminate very nicely in front of you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off all the lights in here and we'll do a final walk around with all the lights off so you can see just how bright they are. Give me one second here. All right, you can see just how bright those lights are and how good they look on the Gladiator here, especially with that satin black grill, but you can see just how bright they illuminate in front of you. And for the $18.95 or whatever it costs to get those on the 2023, uh, definitely do it because they're worth it. And just from a safety aspect and look standpoint, I mean, just really, really a nice option for only $18.95 or whatever it was. Anyways, LED tail lamps look great as well. You also get the LED license plate lights and they illuminate really good, very nice styling on those. All right, thank you so much for checking out the video today. And let me know in the comments below if you like the video, what you'd like to see different. Um, always open for suggestions on these videos. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Gladiators, Wagoneers, Grand Wagoneers, Compasses, Renegades, you name it, we got it. Go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and light duty truck walkarounds on YouTube. 9,000 videos and counting, updated inventory each and every day all at Summit Auto, um, youtube.com slash Summit Auto. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Gladiator videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering this brand new 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon in pumpkin orange metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.